Um, hey everyone, so I've had um, two children and I've given birth in cloud nine twice. That's each of the files that I have for my son and daughter. And I wanted to do a review on why I chose cloud nine and what are the reasons and factors you should take into consideration while choosing hospital. Um, this is not in any way obviously sponsored or anything like that, but I hope it will help <clears throat> more people when they're uh, thinking of all the different things they should consider while selecting a hospital for the birth of their child okay so the first thing is location um, cloud nine was about three to four kilometers from my place and um, for me it was very important given the traffic conditions in urban cities um, to be in a to reach a hospital very quickly and although you know nothing untoward happened and um, nothing wrong happens most of the time there's still a chance that you never know what kind of situation you'll have to go through at what time uh, water might break early or you might face some uh, blood pressure related issues you know it can be different for different people and i think it's very important to consider that that you get the medical attention as soon as you can and for me it was very important that I choose something that's uh, close by so I could get to the hospital in about 15 to 20 minutes and in peak hours you know maximum of like say 25 minutes to 30 minutes so I think in Bangalore traffic that is considered nearby so location is the primary concern second thing is um, to make sure that you choose a hospital which has uh, multiple specialties so knowing that uh, the pediatrician the gynecologist um, are there and they also are able to handle emergency situations that was very important um, for example there are many smaller clinics and of course they are very reputed, reputed and they do a really good job but in case of emergency they always say oh we can't handle this here we don't have the equipment or something like that and please go to a bigger hospital so in that uh, state of emergency or you just delivered a baby or you're going to deliver imagine you face some kind of emergency and they say go to some other hospital so at that time of the day or night having to rush to another uh, bigger hospital with multi-specialty facilities i think that would not be a good idea for me but that's my opinion so that's another reason why i chose cloud nine because i know that if there was any emergency situation even then they would have been able to handle it the third thing is uh, the cost um, of course i was covered by corporate insurance so that way uh, cost was not a major concern um, and it's about one lakh total for the um, you know delivery uh, three days stay and all the doctors consultation charges that's a round figure and um, both my children had um, jaundice common um, ailment in uh, newborn children and because of uh, that uh, we extended the stay by another day so totally we had to pay maybe about 10 or 15 thousand extra but uh, that was something I felt is worth it um, the fourth factor is the doctors I definitely feel that they are very qualified uh, very hand-picked um, and um, they are they're good at what they do so I got that trust factor um, I felt like okay I can trust this fact this doctor and have like my peace of mind so I think that's one one more reason why I chose it and um, the last thing uh, the fifth point I think is the ambience itself um, a lot of people say that you know oh cloud nine like you know they just decorate the rooms and they paint the walls and put fancy wallpaper and um, you know but but the quality is not good or something like that um, I think if the beautification was the only thing they did then it would be a problem but I felt here that the care or or the attention that's paid to the ambience of the hospital um, does help in feeling um, comfortable so I think although that's the last factor it's still it's it's nice like why not you know it's it's good to have a good ambience um, so these these are the reasons why I chose uh, cloud nine and I still do uh, consult them and visit them for all the pediatric requirements for my children as well so it's like a one-stop shop for me to make sure that you know I went through my pregnancy um, consultations and the delivery and then 
postpartum and also um, the pediatric consultations and vaccinations and all that. So uh, I am very glad overall with Cloud9. But one thing uh, is that, you know, it's not like if you go to Cloud9, nothing can go wrong. It's not like that. Uh, there are situations where even if you take an appointment for like a 5.30 p.m. appointment for a consultation with your doctor, it, it'll end up being 6.30, 6.45 by the time you actually meet them. This can happen if they have some emergency situations or they need to go to the uh, operation theater or sometimes, you know, various factors like that. Um, it's also possible that you have to wait quite a bit for the scans because the queue is um, quite long sometimes. Uh, um, and in some of their centers, they have like one scanning center, one scanning like facility. So that may extend wait time. And it's also possible um, that uh, the consultant doctors play a bigger role than the main doctor that you're actually meeting regularly during your delivery. And that happened with me as well. Um, I think maybe my labor time was too short like from the time that i started the entered labor versus delivered it was just two hours so maybe they underestimated um the progression um i'm glad that overall everything turned out okay but just know that in any hospital you go whether it's a big hospital with a brand or a small hospital or anything like that i hope everything goes well but there's no guarantee that for any hospital that if you choose that hospital everything will be perfect like that's um, not the case usually so, yeah that's about it so um those are the reasons why i chose uh, cloud nine and it worked out for me i hope um this these factors help you in deciding which hospital you should go to and um, i i hope uh, whoever is watching this finds it useful in any way and helps with your decision making process thank you and please subscribe to North Indian, South Indian Reactions for more videos on food, opinions, travel and reactions.